During the Templar trials, members of the order described how initiates were required to perform bizarre sexual rites, bestowing obscene kisses on the bodies of senior members. They confessed to spitting and trampling on the cross and denying the divinity of Jesus. The accusations that have been leveled at the Templars are extremely lurid, and I've always attracted, for that reason, a great deal of attention. But they are there in black and white in the trial depositions, so we have to address them and, and assess them. But most shocking of all was the testimony that the Templars worshipped a sinister bearded head. In the trials, the head was described in various different ways. Sometimes they said it had two heads. Sometimes brothers described it as having four feet. Some said it was made of silver. Some said it was made of gold. It was rumored to be the preserved head of the first Templar Grand Master, Hugh de Payen. It was also described as a two-faced skull or the head of an animal. Some mentioned a weird idol known as Baphomet. It's possible the word Baphomet was a corrupted pronunciation of Mohammed. If so, some have suggested this is evidence that the Templars were secret converts to Islam. In the 12th century, the Muslim culture, the Muslim civilization was very ahead of the Western European uh, civilization. When the Knights Templar went to the Holy Land, they were uh, confronted with a culture that was very superior to their own. So some influences began to settle in the general ideology of the Templars. <laughs> 